What's up, Star Wars fans? I asked you guys at the end of episode 5, what is the biggest mystery or the biggest question you have moving forward with the Bad Batch? And you, the community, told me that it continues to be when will Rex show up in the show? So that's exactly what we're going to get into today, because as far as Rex showing up, something huge happened in episode 5 that we knew was going to have to happen before Rex would show up. And that was in the main trailer promoting the Bad Batch, we saw that Omega actually had her energy bow when she and the Bad Batch meet Rex. So in episode 5, Omega did pick up the energy bow, so it could be as soon as next episode that we get to see Rex. But I don't think episode 6 is exactly when we're going to see him. I believe episode 6 is going to be a big episode, a turning point in the Bad Batch, and I'll get to more of that in my preview video coming out this Wednesday or Thursday. But as Medieval Man 9 said in his latest comment, Rex is a big deal story-wise. There's no way he's going to show up any sooner than halfway through the season, as not only is he well known and a loved character, he will also clearly be the catalyst to a major plot point from the Bad Batch story. I couldn't agree more Medieval Man 9 and in my latest episode preview for episode 5, I discussed how I thought Rex was going to send the Bad Batch on a new mission and that was going to be freeing their brothers, starting probably with Crosshair and then including others like Gregor while freeing them from their inhibitor chips and from their enslavement to the Empire. Now that said, I also reminded everybody in my episode preview for episode 5 that Tech had been working on something to scan the inhibitor chips and Medieval Man 9 had something interesting to say about that in his comment. He stated, that scanner is going to need some kind of calibration. Yes, they have Omega with them and her knowledge of the chips will be invaluable, but that's not going to make up for accurate, highly precise information that a scanner will need to operate. And where can they get that kind of information? From the medical records located on a certain Venator named the Tribunal, which happened to crash land on a moon after a catastrophic failure of its hyperdrive. And who can get them to the Tribunal? Tribunal? Why none other than Rex, of course. And certainly Medieval Man 9 seems to be on the right track here. It did seem like in the trailer we saw the Tribunal and the wreckage from the Clone Wars Season 7. And you cannot deny the fact that in that trailer, Rex is guiding them to something. But that said, I don't want people to start to think that this is going to become the Rex in the Bad Bad show. No, I think Rex is going to have his own mission that he's on and that he's probably just going to show up for an episode or two mid-season, and then we'll see him come back around at the end. I mean, we saw Dave Filoni use Ahsoka Tano in a similar sense in Star Wars Rebels Season 2, where we saw that popular character come and go, not unlike, say, Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, and we all know that Dave Filoni takes huge inspiration from The Lord of the Rings, and particularly that character Gandalf. So yes, I think we are going to see Rex in the next couple episodes, but keep in mind that it's probably just is going to be for the one episode before he heads off on his independent mission. But hey Star Wars fans, let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I'm Mike, thanks for watching and may the force be with you.